work, whether it be at school, whether it be at church, wherever we go, people are affected because of what we carry. So if we're carrying the presence of God with us, if we're dwelling in the secret place and dwelling and drawing from the well, drawing from the source, drawing from what we need, then the atmosphere we walk into should be changed, right? We shouldn't walk into places where people's situations are still the same. Then something is wrong. We're not, we're not building ourselves to the place in which God could be able to help us first and then be able to help other people. So the atmosphere that we create is so important. And I'm learning that, you know, just staying in the secret place, being diligent in, in getting into, in learning, in teachings, in reading, it helps you because then when we go places, when, when people see you, this need to see the guy you, you say you clean, you carry. Mm -hmm. Can our hey, atmosphere change uh, the situations that, around us? Um, Can I the only automatic growth is your biological growth. Your spiritual growth is worked on. So I'm really excited to see every one of you here. And I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will impart something on us. So I want to um, pray for every one of you as Rachel will be coming to be a blessing to us. But I thank you for the opportunity to draw from you. There's something you want to impart into our spirit. And this is why you've allowed us to be here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. You may take the stage. Oh, man, thank you. I have to be on video. Huh? <laughs> Hold on, let me see what my video. Let me put this on. Can you see me? Yep. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Eat well. It's even over here. Um, I just want to be grateful. Thank you, Prophet, for the opportunity to um, speak a little word to the people of God. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. So I just want to thank you. Um, and I'm just going to speak a little bit on atmosphere tonight. Um, I think with us being in prayer and us um, just been, you know, trying to draw closer and just cultivate in the atmosphere of prayer around us in this 21 days. I just have a little short message that the Lord's just been speaking to me personally about. And I always feel like when any anytime you bring a message, it always speaks to you first. Um, we are first partake of, of the messages God speak through us. So um, before we start, I know you already prayed, but I'm just going to say just a little short prayer um, before I just get started. Um, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you for today. We thank you, O oh God, for your word, O oh God, that when it comes, Lord, it help us to grow. It help us to get to the place in which you have ordained for us. So, Father, as your word come, O oh Lord, let it be elevated in our lives. Let us be hearers of it and not just and hear us be hearer and doers of your word. Help us, oh God, open up our eyes, open up our ears in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and take your glory. Come and take your praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, I wanted to go to the book of Luke, Luke chapter 4, verse 18. I'm gonna be short, I'm not gonna be long before you guys. <laughs> Um, Luke chapter 18, Luke chapter four, verse 18. And it talks about, um, I'm just going to actually read from 16 to 18, because it kind of just tells a little story. It says, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as he, as his custom was, he was brought up. He went into the synagogue and on the Sabbath day and stood up for the read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it is written, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19 said to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Um, where What I want to talk about atmosphere today is when we just read the first, the first, the first line where we talk about the spirit of the Lord is upon me, you know, being, being the spirit being in us and the spirit being upon us is two different things. And we know the story of, you know, Jesus as he was growing or as he, when he used to go to pray and come out and do just mighty things because he carried an atmosphere with him. So my message for atmosphere today is just, you know, the atmosphere that we carry changes the things that are around us because the atmosphere that Jesus carried, he was able to bring deliverance to people that needed it. He was able to set the captives free. He was able to bring healing. He was able to bring solutions to people. So the atmosphere that we carry is so important as we are cultivating an atmosphere of prayer around us. What we bring out to people is what we carry from us, from the secret place. What we draw from God, what we draw from the Holy Spirit is what we're able to impact on people. Um, I like to write notes because when I'm when I'm going in my head, you know, the Holy Spirit just receives, so I write stuff down. So I'm just going to read a little bit of what I actually been all day just meditating and writing stuff down. I said the environment we are in, the environment we walk in, the environment, whether it be at work, whether it be at school, whether it be at church, wherever we go, people are affected because of what we carry. So if we're carrying the presence of God with us, if we're dwelling in the secret place and dwelling and drawing from the well, drawing from the source, drawing from what we need, then the atmosphere we walk into should be changed, right? We shouldn't walk into places where people's situations are still the same. Then something is wrong. We're not, we're not building ourselves to the place in which God could be able to help us first and then be able to help other people. So the atmosphere that we create is so important. And I'm learning that, you know, just staying in the secret place, being diligent in, in getting into, in learning, in teachings, in reading, it helps you. Because then when we go places, when, when people see you, this need to see the guy you, you say you clean, you carry. Mm -hmm. Can our atmosphere change the situations around us? Can our atmosphere we carry change things that we see in our daily lives? Can we say we pray? We, some of us, we, we clean, we pray this, we do this, we fast. But are people being affected because of what we claim we're doing? Because of the, uh, of, of the spirit of God that's supposed to be upon us, not just in us. The spirit of God is supposed to be upon us because when it's upon us, we're able to change our environment. We're able to change where we go. People are able to be affected. I want people to look at me and be like, man, there's something so different about you. You know, there's something really different about you. Can people look at us and say that? Can people look at us and say, this just a, a aura about you, you know? This is why, you know, cultivating ourselves, we've been praying, cultivating ourselves in prayer, cultivating ourselves in the word of God, cultivating ourselves in just seeking the face of God and hearing his voice will help us to be able to have that spirit upon us and not just in us to be able to affect the environment that we walk into. I wrote here, this is why we are cultivating ourselves in prayer in the presence of God, because the more we dwell in him, the more of him is able to rub on us. So if we're going into um, prayer, if we're going into seeking the Lord, we start to carry whatever it is that we, you know, it starts to come with us. Mm -hmm. It starts to travel with us, 
right? It starts to travel with us because there's nothing we would do. Whatever you give your time to, that's what you're going to become. Whatever you give your thought to, that's what you're going to become. That's what the Bible talks about, renewing our mind. You know, in, in, in um, Jesus talk about renewing our minds because whatever we think, that's what we will see. Mm -hmm. Whatever we, we, we put our energy in, that's what we will see. So my little two <laughs> thing I'm just trying to talk, speak to you guys about is as we're praying, let it be that people around us will be, will see it and be affected in a good way. They will be changed in a good way. They will see that 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 spirit of God is upon us. It's not just in us because it could be in us and we could speak all the alphabet uh, uh, tongues, but it's just in us. But if it's upon us, we're able to walk into the dimension we need to walk in. I wrote here. Um, I wrote here. Let me see. I have a lot of papers. What did I write? Where's my paper? Sorry. I lost my page where I was at. Oh, it's okay. Um, oh yeah, I wrote here. You know, when we meet people as as uh believers, we're supposed to carry a dimension of Christ. Everyone that come in contact with you is supposed to know a dimension of Christ that is in you that you could be able to reflect upon them. But if we're not able to do that, then what's the point? Why are we here? Why have we said we've given our life to Christ if we can be able to draw other people? So it's so important for me. I just don't want to be a Christian that just walk on this earth and be like, oh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to heaven anyways. But I want my life to be impactful to someone else. So the atmosphere I have to cultivate around me have to be able to affect the people that I come in contact with. Just as Jesus, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the spirit is upon him. He's able to set the captives free. Can we set the captive free? Because the spirit is upon him. He's able to bring deliverance, preach deliverance. Can we preach deliverance? Because the spirit is upon us, not just in us. Because when something is upon you, like how when we wear our clothes, we put it on us, people are able to see it. So when the spirit is upon us, people should be able to see it. So I just, you know, that was just a little message I had today about just atmosphere and how when we cultivate our, ourselves in prayer and we cultivate ourselves in uh, um the reading of the word, we cultivate ourselves in teachings and books we read. I'm a type of person I love reading. I love reading. I from Benny Hinn to 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 Uber Angel to Derek Prince. I love because I love. I want to learn, and I want to make sure I cultivate myself in a atmosphere that will be upon me. That when God sent me out to preach or do whatever it is. It could be at a workplace that somebody lives is transformed, that somebody lives is impacted by what is upon me and not just in me. Because what is in me, it changes the atmosphere inside of me. But what is upon me changes the atmosphere outside of me. So I just give God the praise. That's all I have for tonight. <laughs> Thank you again, Prophet, um, for, for allowing me to come and speak. Um, to the people of God. Amen. Wow. Wow. When the spirit of the Lord is in you, it is for your own change. But when he comes on you, it is for the people around you and wherever he yes. sends you. I want you to people to prepare yourself in prayer. That Lord Jesus Christ, we don't want the Holy Spirit to just be in us. You have called us into this earth so we can represent you. Therefore, yes. let the Holy Spirit come on us so that the, the influence of the Holy Spirit to this world can be seen. In the mighty yes. name of Jesus in Christ, I want you to join Jesus. us in prayer. Carlos O Prakita, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty we name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Us. So that, that the Holy Spirit will not just be in me, but upon me, O God. 
and that will be able to be an effect to everyone around me, that everyone that I come in contact with, oh God, they will be impacted in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that I see, anyone that I come in contact with, they could see the Christ that is in upon me, Lord. I thank you, oh God. Help me, O Lord Jesus, to cultivate that atmosphere, that atmosphere of you that will be upon me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord 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 Jesus. Atarebocos and Anamare, Karisoto Remanaye Atanusa O Tarimoko Sandaye Ananamaro Soto Rimanaka Sandi Arabare Yanamaro Santaraba Karemo Soto Rebede Boshanda Ramane Oh Father, I thank you, Lord. In the name the of Jesus, of the Lord was upon them. They became mm -hmm. witnesses in Judea, in Jerusalem, and all the surrounding yes. places. I pray for you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the Amen. Spirit of God shall come upon you, you will be a witness. You will be a witness. Yes. You will be a witness of the power of God. You will be the witness. In the name of, of Jesus. You will be the witness of the healing power of God. You will be a witness of the existing Amen. power of God. You will be in a the witness that the Lord Jesus is real. I pray for in every one of you right Jesus. now. In the mighty yes. name of Jesus in Christ, the name of the Jesus. Ghost shall come upon you and you shall yes. testify that truly the yes. Holy Spirit was upon you mm. in spirit and power. In the mighty yes. name of Jesus in the name Christ. Of Jesus. Mm. Pal is a king Lord, you see, Thank you, Lord Jesus. When you only have the word of verbal contribution, in the kingdom of God, you are limited. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you can mm -hmm. also contribute the supernatural, yes. you are undeniable. Yes. When your faith can be practical, that is why we need to pray that the Holy Spirit come upon us. Lena yes. Yes. Once your work with God is practical, it's very hard mm -hmm. for somebody to debate. But when mm -hmm. it's all verbal, when it's all words, anybody can come with their own theology and a way of thinking and bring a debate around it. But when yes. it's practical and undeniable, Situation. my goodness, may mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name may of God Jesus. give you grace to experience the mm -hmm. grace of God when he is upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. The Holy in Ghost the fill you up. May the Holy Ghost fill you up. May your cup be Jesus. full and never in run dry. In, in the, the mighty name, name of Jesus Christ. In the name Baka of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As Lord. you stay yourself in the Holy Spirit, the dimension that the Lord will lift you up, every one of you here, in the name of Jesus, all you got to do is to believe that something is taking place. There is no word that comes without a reason. It, every word comes for a season. And if you're not ready for this season, somebody out there will be ready for this. I'm very excited. I'm very ready because the Holy Spirit does not only want to be in us. He wants to be on us. He wants to be on us. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as we pray, we are believing God for another dimension. Amen. We will walk in the glory of God. 
where we will see God in a very deep level, where people around us can be able to experience this God through us. Yes. As we pray this prayer, and you stay ourselves in the Holy Ghost and captivate oh, ourselves in the Holy Ghost. God. God, May the Spirit of God rest upon you. In the name May of the Jesus. fire you had be a fire which you have, the, the fire you have now, be the fire that you've never had before. In the, name of Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. In May God open Jesus. your eyes. May God open your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Sleep. May you have dreams and visions. In the name May of your Jesus. May be so practical. In the, in the mighty name of, name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name As we pray, Jesus. let's begin to pray. Maru Santaremo Sandara Barrete de Bosandara Mane, Macarebo Sandara da Barrete de Borrasiana Marete de Borrasana Mane, Tequito, Acanama Shoto Remane, Yacanamone, Yacaramane, Catiato, Atuiana Mane, Yacarabasoto Remana Catiana Mane, Aro Soto Rebe de Bosandara Mato Sandiana Mane, Yerebo Sandana Mane, Acarabasoto Rebe. If God is let us be part of those. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May the Lord be a blessing to everyone. This message will be available on the YouTube channel. Go Thank back you. to it. Uh, eat from it. And we'll be seeing you guys later. Remember, we are having, I mean, tomorrow, actually. It's already uh, Tuesday where I am. So remember, we'll be mm -hmm. seeing you guys at 10 a.m. CDT for prayer. Okay. Live on YouTube. And... May the good Lord be a blessing to every one of you. The grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the rest and abide in us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord now and forevermore in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. If you have Amen. a seat, if you have an offering, just share on the PayPal link. I love you guys so much. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ loves us more. Powerful Amen. word from you, Rachel. And I see Amen. why the Lord has, has brought you here. Mm. God bless you. Let me not talk too much. Shalom. Amen. Amen.